If you haven't been paying attention, Alita Battle Angel might seem like a massive blockbuster property from out of nowhere, but the character of Alita has been around for close to 30 years, and her movie's been in the works for over half that time. So real quick, let's get you up to speed on where Alita came from and why this movie is such a big deal. It all started back in late 1990 when a new manga by artist and writer Yukito Koshiro began appearing in the pages of the weekly comic magazine Business Jump. It told the story of a kindly scientist who discovered the remains of a young cyborg girl lying in a scrap heap who he brought back to life to become a daughter of sorts. That might sound like a touchy-feely kawaii take on Pinocchio, but Business Jump was aimed at a more mature audience, and this reassembled cybernetic heroine wasn't interested in sitting around being cute. Instead, she faced off against a rogues gallery of villainous cyborgs with characters regularly meeting brutally ultra-violent demises. In 1993, the comic was adapted into a two-part anime home video special, or OVA, and with the growing popularity of Japanese otaku culture in the West, it wasn't long before this series got localized. Now, obviously, this girl with the big eyes is the basis for the movie Alita Battle Angel, but in Japan, the series was known as Ganmu, which literally translates as Gun Dream, and the main character's name was originally Gally. Alita found a healthy cult following of proto weeaboos and somehow it found its way into the hands of legendary filmmaker James Cameron, allegedly after it was recommended to him by fellow director Guillermo del Toro. Cameron was immediately interested in turning it into a movie, which isn't surprising at all given his love of tough female characters, cybernetics, and massive action set pieces. Cameron is a man famous for taking his time. He had a treatment for Avatar written in 1994, and that didn't come to fruition until 15 years later. And it was a similar case for Alita. While his decision to make a film based on Battle Angel Alita wasn't formally announced until 2003, the domain name BattleAngelAlita.com has been registered to Cameron and Fox since the year 2000. After the world record success of Titanic, nobody was about to get in the way of Cameron's next movie, and while he expressed interest in making both Alita and Avatar, he opted to start with the latter, and our cybernetic heroine got backburnered for the indefinite future. Future. Once the dust had settled from Avatar, Alita seemed like a sure thing, but instead, Cameron announced plans for four Avatar sequels, and it seemed like this cybernetic heroine would never make it to the big screen. But around 2015, rumors began circulating that Robert Rodriguez was lending a hand with the project, who seemed like a perfect fit given his prior experience with action movies, digital effects, and live action adaptations of graphic novels. By 2016, production was officially underway under the new name Alita Battle Angel. Rodriguez was directing, with Cameron producing and lending a hand with some of the special effects technology he developed to make Avatar possible. And now, finally, after a couple of delays, Alita Battle Angel is making its grand debut. It's a blockbuster movie 20 years in the making using cutting-edge technology to turn a star-studded cast into murderous cyborgs. Is it any surprise we're excited to finally see it?